We used to be best friends. You're my boy, and I miss you. I'm thinking if you guys go warm each other up. Good night. It's Christmas, and I'm willing to give, and I'm willing to receive. I have to ask a question, and I hope I don't offend you, but I need to know. I'm offended. Okay. <laughs> Is it contractual that you be shirtless and everything? <laughs> and if not, could it be? Because it's nice, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I love that he comes out, he's like oiled up and shirtless. He's like, how are you doing? Everyone in the audience screamed, Good. <laughs> Don't you know the makeup artists? They had so much fun with you. <laughs> oh, that's had all the ladies on the set sitting there going like, "Okay, really?" Uh, you know, really? That, now that was something Malcolm really wanted me to be able to 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 convey being a football player, and he was the one that was telling me, "He's like, yeah, you're gonna have your shirt off in this scene, so you better be ready." So I was like, "Man, convincing." Yeah, <laughs> so I really had to get ready for that. You had to get ready. That's not what it oh, looks like right now. Oh no, y'all knew. <laughs> they <laughs> actually be. pay him extra. <laughs> For each peck. For each peck. <laughs> and each ab. Ab and that, well, See, that's where he made most of the money. On yeah. The but I do have to, I have to say for my friend I right here, uh, Tay Diggs, I, one of the things that I'm so mad about so with sweet. Malcolm is that Mal uh, this one right here is like, they should have had his shirt off because he has one of those. There's still an opportunity. <laughs> yeah, right, right now. <laughs> 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 Well, this movie, people are so excited that it's coming back now. I think the thing that people possibly aren't expecting is just how emotional it is. Mm. I was rocked. I left it, I called my boyfriend, I was like, I love you. <laughs> we just wanted it to be a surprise. Oh yeah? Harp is good for that. <laughs> when you read the script, did you have that same reaction? My, my reaction initially was I cried a lot. I laughed a couple of times, but I cried a lot. Um, yeah, my, I, was, I was emotional. I was emotional as well. But you know, it was just the whole process of everything. I knew that that it wasn't going to end up like that because when you read a first draft, it's very rare that that's the draft that you're going to shoot. So, um, but I just loved the film because I thought it, it had great balance with with humor, with emotion, with a little bit of everything. <laughs> The boy band scene was one of my favorites. <laughs> if you were to create a Best Man Holiday boy band, oh wow! What would you title it, and who would be in it? So wait, now, when you say create one, what, like, what do you mean? Like, because you could have backup singers. Maybe the girls are at the front. Maybe the boys are at the front. I'm saying you create. You're making see, the band. Now, this this so is see, now, now, no, but see, like in the original script. We both had one. <gasps> the men had one, and the ladies had what one. What did you guys sing to? Yeah, somehow they, they, they disappeared. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, it was who? it was an, and it was an Aaliyah song, and it was really sexy. And I wish that we could have kept that in. Yeah, and I don't know who just I just all of a sudden disappeared. They just disappeared. So so what I want to see, I want to see the ladies doing a nice and sexy Aaliyah song. I want to see a little bit of nice outfits showing the cleavage, a little bit of lace, and just doing a little sexy thing because all of our ladies, they can get out. They get out. The they, men they, have done it. Get... See, number three. Number three. The they, challenge they, they, they has get been out. issued. They got to get out. <laughs> Hello, Malcolm. Did you hear that? In the third film, I'm issuing a challenge. Can we please have a women's group? And if we do have one, what would you like to do? I second that. I second oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh. In Vogue. Exactly. Oh, and we kind of look like them. We you do. And then we can be the dudes in the be... audience. That's yes. it. Yes. Well, what will you throw? What will you do? Because the girls did a good job egging you boys on. Yeah, How do you, because you have to be respectful, but you also have to be like... Money. Throw <laughs> like money. Throw your dollar bills, baby. It's all about the wallet. We don't want any musty, <laughs> musty jock straps. We <laughs> wanted to make it rain. Make it rain! That's make right. It rain. Three cool. This is all what's happening. At some point, we have to tell them. In due time. Wait, did you know about this? Jordan, she's pretty special. I'm surprised she got past all you guys. Who says she did? He's just messing with your man. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm going to call you out a little bit, Terrence. Call me out. When we were in Toronto, yes. I heard you walking through the halls, and I heard you saying I was in a movie and it tested better than The Hangover. You didn't say what the movie was, but I found out later it's this. Well, I think I had a hangover at the time <laughs> when that occurred. <laughs> but I think it's amazing to hear that because that's the sort of stuff that people don't talk about, but you should. Like, this movie is so funny and the audience reaction is phenomenal. Oh gosh, we have a lot to live up to. I mean, especially that you've announced it's how tight it's testing. <laughs> Why do you think it's that resonant 14 years later? Because it was really 
universal. The story is universal, and I think that's why it holds up so well because it's a story that anyone, any, any, you could have, you could have been in it. You know what I mean? I personally think that there's a little bit of black in everybody. So <laughs> when they get to watch the movie, everybody likes to see themselves in these black, well-to-do people. <laughs> when you awesome. come back to something 14 years later, mm -hmm. did you guys feel any pressure? I don't think I felt any pressure because it was so good. It was, you know, if, yeah. if it wasn't there, you know, yes. I'd have been nervous, but it was so good. We're all so much better than we were before that it just felt like, go and do what you do. Go, just go and do what you do. And we all did that. And, and I think it came out. It's as much fun on screen as it was behind the, behind the camera. It was, it was all fun and love and joy. And, you know, and we had a strife and a tough moments. It was, yeah, it was I thought, all good. Yeah, no, we had fun. We knew each other. Mm -hmm. We had, a, we already had a great script to start off with. Yes. That, that really does everything. But then the fact that when we went to dinner two years before, that kind of same energy and chemistry was still there between everyone. We were excited to see what we were doing 14 years yeah, ago. Exactly. I was like, what happened? I was like I'm married. I'm married somewhere. I'm married. I was like, I have children. I'm a mommy. I was so happy with where Candace's life had gone. I was really happy too. I was like, somebody who loves me. She's not trying to change me. She's just there. It was good. And like, it was, it was, it was good. It was a New York Times article, and they said this is an urban comedy of manners. There's nothing urban about no. this movie. It's in a really, really nice mansion. Are they really saying that? That's apparently what they said. Yeah. Well, I don't know where they got that from. Well, you got to remember, there was a movie called Urban Cowboy. Is Eddie Cowboy. Black? Eddie Cibrian? Is he? No. Oh. Okay. Do Not you remember yet. Urban Cowboy? <laughs> yeah. That was a cowboy movie. And that urban. was urban. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is on YouTube. Oh, damn. Your wife is a freak. Hey, hey. Hey. Can I use your phone? I can't get a signal in here. 